Hello viewers. Today we are discussing one more concept the transformer outside parts. What are the parts is there in outside? One by one we are discussing. One main tank. Second one is old DC tank. Third one is radiator. Fourth one is conservator. Fifth one is focus relay. Sixth one is phase relay value. Seventh one is freezer or silica gel. Eighth one is input and output terminals. Ninth one is the RTCC panel. Tenth one is the Morselin box. Morselin box. This box is contain WTI and OTI. And the one more indications also is there. And oil indications. Oil level indications. These are the main parts of the tank. Outside of the main parts. One by one we are discussing. If you go for the main tank. The main tank is available core, winding and eye. These three available inside of the, the main tank. If you go for the OLTC tank. This OLTC tank is available oil and as well as some uh, tap changing wheels is available inside of this OLTC tank. If you go for radiator, the radiator is, is only cooling the oil. How it will cool that oil? I will give the one example. You take a tea in cup and as well as take a one more, take a tea with saucer. Which one is earlier was cooling? Saucer. With the help of outside air. Saucer was earlier was cooling. Same way the transformer oil also was cooling uh, with the help of radiators. Next if you go for the conservator. The use of conservator is only the when transformer load is low, the oil is available main tank. When the load is increasing, the excess oil is available in that conservator only. That purpose only we are using the conservator. If you go for the buckwash relay, the buckwash relay is available between the main tank and the conservator. When uh, the buckwash relay was operating based on pressure. Basically, how it will develop the pressure inside of the tank? There are two reasons. One is the electrical destruction and one more is the thermal decomposition. Because of these two reasons, the inside of the oil gases was produced. After gases is producing, obviously the pressure it will be increasing. The pressure is moving main tank to conservator in between buckwash relay is there. At uh, buckwash relay is there. Buckwash relay also we are putting some settings. After exceeding, it was dripping. All internal parts, the buckwash relay will take care of. It. After it will go the pressure relief value. Pressure relief value is the protection for the main tank. The pressure was producing inside of the tank. In up, uh, if it is normal up to normal control level no issue if it is abnormal time the pressure was developing inside of the tank the excess pressure is going to top the buckwash relay is operate but in case buckwash relay is not operate that time the pressure relay wall is open the entire oil is goes in out help the helping the tank it will uh, I now I'll give an example a car is car is going accidentally happen the air balloon it will open 
protection for the person. Same way, here also protection for the tank, the pleasure in value is using. After if you go for the breather or silica gel, breather or silica gel use only the uh, transformer was breathing when load is low, air is taking, load is high, air is zitting. That time the air is coming inside of that breather. The breather it was observing the moisture of the air and inside of the cup was observing the dust particle. That purpose only we are using that breather. After if we go for the input and output terminals, the input terminals, if it is a distribution transformer, means step down transformer. Input 33 kV we are connecting. The cable is coming from this side. Output we are connected a LT, LT side, LT kioscos. Those are the terminals. If you go for the RTCC panel, the RTCC panel is to monitoring the load voltage in LT side and analyzing that corresponding message command it will give to the RTC, it will give to, to the OLTC motor. Means LT side voltage is high. Take the information, analyze. Yes, voltage, uh, load side voltage is high. Yes, tap position it will decrease. That command is sending to the voltage, voltage motor. If it is voltage, uh, if it is voltage is down, yes, voltage is down, that corresponding tap it will be increased. That message is sending to the voltage, voltage motor. Car. This is the RTC panel. And one more RTC panel. Some alerting messages it was displaying means oil levels low or high. Some alerting messages before tripping the some alerting messages, some with the help of buzzers or uh, displays, it was showing in RTCC panel. And one more is the morselin box. The morselin box inside is two gauges is there. One is the winding temperature, one is the winding temperature, one other one is the oil temperature gauges. This uh, winding temperature and oil, uh, winding temperature and oil temperature temperatures compulsory uh, three to five degrees difference is there. Winding temperature is high, to, uh, three to five degrees when compared to oil temperature. One more is the oil level indicators. Means inside of the main tank, oil level is how much is there. OLTC tank oil level is how much there? Those level indication purpose oil level indications is available. Thank you.